So, welcome to another Artie Mouse film. I'm going to make something today. Over the Christmas holidays, I was trawling YouTube, like you do, and I found a lady called Rachel Maxey, who decided to make a Baby Yoda, which was very cute. And I thought, I can do something with this. I can do something with this. As a lot of you know, I am completely obsessed with Training. One of my favourite characters that is in a Jim Henson film is of Ludo from The Labyrinth. So I set about doing some drawings um, just to familiarise myself with the way he looks, with the shape of his face, and I have decided I'm going to make a little Ludo for you. I'm not sure if I'm going to make him into a puppet yet. I'll see how I go. I can, it works in my head in theory, whether it works in practice is going to be an experiment. Okay, so I've started off with this little lady here. Hello. And what I'm going to do, I was very lucky to find this one because she has knees. She has knees, which is really useful because sometimes you get a doll and it's just the hand or it's just the foot, but this is actually going to work in my favour for Ludo because of the way he stands. He stands in a kind of bent over stance. The hood is going to come off. Sorry, decapitation time. So, got a hacksaw, got a baby. Take it off. I am. I'm going to do it. I am. Gosh, it's tough old bean. Come on, love. Pull it up. Okay. Nearly. Nearly had this neck. <laughs> right. Marvellous. There she is. She's going to look at me now throughout the whole thing. She's going to look at me. She's going to judge me. being your head. The plan is, so loading that one, when you look at Ludo himself, he's quite forwards, um, his head is quite down quite far in his neck, in front of his chest rather than on top of his neck. So I'm going to make a head out of this stuff here. I've got the puppet making and it's extremely light which makes it as good because when you are working with a puppet for a long time your arms get really tired so the lighter your puppet is the better so this stuff i'm going to make his head this is one i made earlier the blue peter um and it's a little bit like donald duck at the moment but i was just having a play you can kind of see where this is going with that okay so I'm going to make a piece that fits on the front here, but also works its way into, into the back. So it gives him a bit of a hunchback and fits in this hole I've just made so that it can be hot glued into there. I'm off to another room where I'm going to get my Dremel and make a complete mess, making a little head. Join me there. The next stage in the process, I've cut some of more of the blue foam to a basic size where I've got a piece coming over the front and over the shoulders. Cut down with this, and my phone's ringing. One moment, please. Hello. Okay. Where is my mask? I had a mask. Hang on. Right. 
house of God. Okay, I have a cup of tea and a lovely mess. And we now have the top half of the head. Okay, so it's a bit like King Kong for the neck, isn't it? Like a ducky duck. His bottom lip, when you look at him, his bottom lip comes, it's like an underbite. So it comes further out than this piece. I've lost my mask. Can't do a thing without the mask on. No, not that. Hang on. British. Come on, team. Silver friend. Sorry. Sorry. Must stop anthropomorphizing everything I see. Consider people think I'm weird. So now we have my blue head. What I need to do now is to cover it in paper mache. Now, conventional paper mache is a pain. Oh. At various wholesalers, something called art mache. Powdered paper and glue. <coughs> Make sure you're well ventilated. With that sort of goo. It's going to get messy doing this, but now, so again, montage land. So I get this stuff. See you in a bit. My next step is to put a second layer on. So my next step is to make the horns for the side of his head and two little bottom teeth for his jaw. So I'm going to go back to the blue stuff and I'm going to make the right shapes and then I'm going to glue them on and I'm going to mash over the top of those as well. Lovely. I'm going to work on the hands. The feet can stay as they are, I think, uh, but he does need his big claws. He has a thumb and two fingers, um, so that's something I need to work out. Okay, so the next part of the process for Ludo is the scariest bit for me because I have to make a Ludo baby grow. I have this fabric and exactly the right colour. We have a seamstress in the family so already and I can't compete and I'm not even going to try with competing with the lovely Kathy Hay. 
but I'm gonna do my best. I'm making a little Ludo suit. We'll see where we go. Wish me luck. And remember, fair maiden, should you need us. So the ancient sewing machine is ready. I've pinned him together. Let's see how it goes. There is, in fact, a story behind this sewing machine. I call it Frankenstein because it was once three sewing machines and it was put back together. Yes. She'd never let me down. <laughs> it's so cute. I can't get over it. Bless. I so hope this fits. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, this is so cute! Oh my word! Yes! There it is! <laughs> oh, he's fantastic! I love it! I love it already! So, these are the hands I made earlier. They've now been in the oven. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. I'm gonna have to sit there and hold this. Maybe some time. Talk amongst yourselves. Hello again, everybody. Let me just show you how far I've got. We now have hands together, glued on. I've glued the suit to the arms and the ankles so that it doesn't move anywhere. So he's got little feet, he's got little hands, he's not got a head yet. That's the next stage. I'm also thinking that Ludo isn't fat enough. So I've got here teddy bear stuffing. And I'm just gonna feel him out a bit. Okay, I'm going to do my very best to try and make this jaw move. All you need to do to make a jaw move is I'm going to attach the top and the bottom jaw at these points and at those points on that side. There and there. And then you need to put a string from here to the top bottom jaw that will go back go through his neck or might go might go might have two pieces that go round his neck I'm not sure yet that's how that goes but you have a piece that comes from that top point it comes around to the back of the creature and when you let go it will open when you pull it it will close it okay does that make sense I hope so that's the plan What is it with glue gun glue being really stringy? Here I hold this together for a bit. Oh, I've just pulled it out from the side because I had it lying on the table with a tit. Okay, so now I have the jaw attached because I've got wire there and wire there on the other side. And I've got a long string that's going through the bottom of the jaw, which means that when I pull that, this jaw is closed. When I let it go, it's open. Yay! <laughs> The head is on. I need surgery, sir. Oh, 
and it makes me think of the bit, the other bit in the film with the fireies. You're only allowed to throw your own head. Where's the referee? It's against the rules, throw other people's heads. Hey, lady. Keep it to the people. Say hello to the peoples. Enjoy. Should have shown you a new. You made Ludo out of you, you're the right colour. Enjoy. Let's put our biscuits up here. It's a travesty. Biscuits. No. Oh dear. Cut a little hole. Glue that over the top. Just going to put the back there. Look. Fathers that bring you tea. Right. Where was I? Oh. <laughs> I'm so pleased with you. See the that even putting that string in kind of pulls in his shoulders. Gives him proper shoulders. That's quite nice. Cool. And Frankenstein is back. Because the last job I need to do on my little Ludo is to make a tail. What I've done is taken some copper wire and some more of the fabric and I'm going to make two triangular pieces, sew it together, take one side out, put the wire inside and then hand sew it on. This won't be long enough to see. Oh my cow! Sorry, I have a very noisy cat. Yes I do. So, you see we've got hard edges on this wire so I'm gonna bring that top bit over. wants to get in because her bed is under this desk. She wants to know whether it's bedtime yet. And of course being 20 years old it's always bedtime in America. So I've sewn them together, put the wire down the middle Put some of the teddy bear stuffing in the middle. So the tail is going to stick up. Can you feel it? Thank you. He's nearly done. So I'm going to hand sew him on there. Be finished. Any inappropriate comments? And I will throw you out. Because we're British and we don't do that kind of thing. I'm so excited! He's so cute! Now, the mouth doesn't work very well. And the reason for that is because there's so much stuffing 
under here. I overdid it under here. So there's nowhere for that mouth to actually fall so that it can be pulled back up. So if you do move it down, it'll stay. And then you can pull it back up with the wire. It doesn't actually tilt it down. So not a complete success, but I had loads of fun. And it was a real challenge on my brain. And it's taken me four days. And I'm quite proud of him. I think he's quite cool. Yeah! <laughs>